Okay. Kagura time. Chapter 6. At the interval. Booty, how could you do that again? I'm just gonna give her a super generic voice. I can't. I can't be bothered. I'm sorry. Oh, that's right, water. I'll order laces packages. Oh, oh, well, I would like you to do that, but that's not what I'm talking about. And I'll do the bookkeeping too. So you should have a cup of tea and rest for a bit and, and for, forget about me meeting with boys. Booty! Oh, I'm just so busy, I can't hear you over there, Mom. I pushed my mother, who looked like she still had more words, into the room and went about my work. When I came back from Yoshiwara this morning, as expected, my mother scolded me. Though I expected that, all I can do was just evade her like this. On this island, almost all women who visit the red light district when they become adults. Almost all women was the Wait, did I say that right? My memory is awful. 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 I heard that the mainland has no such custom. But I was taught that this is the inevitable given that no men are born on this island. I continued working while thinking that when... Oh, there's a letter among the packages! I tried to take out the letter that had found its way among the packages. When I saw the name of the letter sender, I instantly stopped what I was doing and shouted. Wow, it's from the Oh my god, it's from it's from that guy. It's from the guy that Iwafu was my dad. Oh, Genemon san. Genemon Hiraga is my favorite uncle. What? I is he your uncle? Are we related? Even since I was little, he would, he would treat me very well. He traveled around the country and would always tell me stories of the world of the world was unknown to me. Ginnamon's trading business was pretty big. He traded rare products from east and west and wondrous items overseas. He knew everything. I was also surprised to know that he had some connection with top government officials. Oh. On that subject, in Kikuya, everyone thought I was Genemon-san's daughter, and because of that, I've been able to see Kagura-san, so I must be thankful. In the letter from Genemon-san, Mother, it seems that Uncle Genemon will come soon. Wow. I told my mother to take a break, but she left the shop after being surprised by my voice. My mother also appeared to be thrilled that Uncle Genemon was coming for the first time in ages. Of course, I'm very happy too. Uncle Genemon Jun Lua always got me excited. Because he always showed us expensive, rare and much coveted items. They were all items that we were eager to have. Then a thought suddenly came across my mind. I wonder if he'll bring a beautiful kimono. Something that would allow me to hold my own, even in Yoshiwara. I'd like to wear it and meet Kagura-san again. I thought such things. And again, I looked up at the cherry blossoms on the main street. I wonder how many times I've come here already. Helping my family business, studying bookkeeping, helping with cooking and sewing. Only for a moment I would escape from this healthy everyday light under the sun to come to Yoshiwara, where the light shines like a light trap. There are women who are looking for love. There are women who are crazy for love. There are women who indulge themselves in desire. I came here many times, but I still haven't really bought a man. Even I said some, even I said something like that. You would believe me, that. Even if I probably, will. I just have someone that I want to see. I want to, see, I I want to see him. I just want to see him. I couldn't think about what would happen in the future. I just really want to see him. That's the only reason that I came here again today. When I came in front of Kika, I heard people arguing. The tone of their voice, whether I wanted to know that or not, told me that it was unsubtle. It's... It must be Kagura and Takao. Toki was up! Before I knew it, Tokawa-san was standing behind me. 
This seems to be having an interesting conversation, aren't they? What are you gonna do, booty? It doesn't sound like a good atmosphere, so are you going to eavesdrop in on them? What? <laughs> no, no, you go first, Tokyo, okay, you go first. Tokyo, what's that? Could you go in first? Huh? No, I don't wanna. You get some nerve to try and use me like this with your cute face. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I don't really mind, but we should hide ourselves and look in on what's happening. <laughs> He's telling me to like eavesdrop with him. He wants to use the gossip, but he but he doesn't want to go inside. He doesn't want to show himself. He wants to just listen in on the juicy gossip. After Tokuba san said so, he pushed me into a shaded area. This is sure to be an interesting show from here on out. A vicious argument between Kagura san and Takao san. Tokuba san and I watched them from the shaded area. What a strange situ situation we have created. <laughs> I don't look like a single thing about you. You act like you have like room to spare, but that's only for now. It's what <laughs> Just what are you getting so upset about? <laughs> Stop acting like you like don't know. You're like the smart guy. It's not like you can't figure out what's in my mind. Do I do work hard in my studies? This human mind is immeasurable. As always, you're an unlikable guy. I'm not interested in being likable to guys. I'm not gay. Sorry. Feel that burn yet? Me neither, could, but could you like stop jerking me around? Mm. The number one gentleman in this shop is like me, Takao Summer. You put me, Takao-sama, aside to like get your hands on some rich lady, or are they fighting over me? Fight, 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 fight. You can't see me, but I'm like pumping my fist in there. I do the same thing when my cats are playing. And I yell cat fight. <laughs> because I am very mature. You like got some nerve. I don't know which rich lady you are talking about. Not one of my clients are of questionable lineage or class. As I listened to their argument, I just couldn't help but feel restless. So much so that I wanted to jump in and stop them. <laughs> Tokuba san snickered quietly next to me. You're like trying to throw me up and say stuff like that, aren't you? I'm like not that patient. The person I'm talking about now is like booty. What? <laughs> Tokuba-san covered my mouth as I began to shout in surprise. That was close. It looks like they didn't notice anything. Be quiet, or we'll be found out for sure. Tokuba-san's hand was on my lips. I wanted him to remove his hand as soon as possible, so I nodded many times. Every client has different tastes. You and I are totally different from each other. What's the meaning of getting jealous? Jealous? <laughs> Don't make me like laugh. That lady like just doesn't understand what like a real man should be. And that's that's me. I I'm the real man. What are you trying to say? Who's the man she like really wants to pay for? Who's the man she really wants to be loved by? Well, it's obviously not you, since I didn't pick you. This is not your out. Okay, so... Go to bed. Or something. I will make her, like, understand that. You understand? That also depends on the person. So it's like, okay then, can I have, like, booty? You can have booty, just not my booty. It's okay if I like completely shake a body as well as a mind make like crazy about me, right? That's such a weird thing to say. <laughs> That's such a weird line, I don't know. 
My heart beat loudly. I felt like it was going to burst. Until a moment ago, I thought that I wanted to stop their argument. But now all I can think of, of was just hiding myself and shrinking away. Kagura-san. I won't stop you. I heard the sound of someone's footsteps walking away from there. Perhaps it was Kagura-san's. I could hear the sound of those footsteps, footsteps walk down the hall in a quiet and orderly manner. I beat my lips tightly. As expected, Kagura-san is a man that paints the picture of being cool and collected. <laughs> the sound of Sokawa-san's impressed voice became distant. I guess it was just another client for Kagura-san. It's not like I didn't understand that, but... Why did I feel so disappointed now? Because you like him! Oh my god! Ugh. You poor girl! You poor girl! You fell in love with such a cold man! Fall in love! Oh, was I wrong? I'm not wrong, am I? There's nothing wrong with my judgement. No, there really isn't. Perhaps. Perhaps. I really have fallen in love with him. Perhaps. Perhaps. But what good will come out of saying that now? Perhaps. I can't let that go, okay? That was... That was funny. Well, there's like no need to make such a sad face. When he sees you tonight, he'll give you plenty of love. That's what a gentleman of the night does. Tokawa-san lightly stroked my head with his hand, and I suddenly felt like I was about to cry. How pathetic it is. Falling in love with someone means that means becoming so weak and pathetic. Hey, go to him and be loved by him. The come I tried getting your way though. Well Thanks, Tokiwa. <laughs> Thanks. But a mischievous look on his face. Tokawa-san smiled at me and pushed my back. Oh, That's so... That's so nice. That's nice. Thank you, man. Thanks, bro. Thank you. And that's how today. I once again passed through the entrance of Kikuya. I waited by myself for Kagura-san in the parlor room. I wanted to wait for him quietly, so I asked Iruasan to clear people away from the room. In this completely quiet room, nothing made a sound. Even though I wasn't trying to listen in, I could hear the voices of joy from other rooms. Oh, oh, oh. I said I wanted to wait quietly, but as I recall the conversation between Takao-san and Kagura-san before, I just couldn't keep myself calm. And it also made me sad. Just then, I heard footsteps walking down the hallway and my body went stiff. But you look like bored, booty. The person who came into the parlor room wasn't Kagura-san. It was Takao-san. Why are you here? Well, why am I here? That's what I asked. Plus, I like smell something nice and just stroll them by. Are you a vampire? Are you like a twi twilight vampire and you smell me? You sm smell my smell? I'm not food. I'm not food. You just, you just smelled something nice. I haven't showered for three days, so I don't know what that could be. Yeah, your nice smell was drifting through the like, hallway. Might if I like sit next to you? He said it to me without any shyness or hesitation. This is a courtesan, the number one yetaman in Kikuya, and he obviously doesn't have any customer right now for some reason. He had lively eyes and an alluring smile. He possessed a strong charm that seemed like it could instantly capture someone's heart. <laughs> yes, I do mine. Yes, I do mine. Oh, uh, what's that? Is that? Well, uh, is that? I should ask you why you think it's okay to sit next to me. Uh. Because it's like me. Duh. Uh. While saying something like this, he came into the room. 
and he quickly sat down next to me. I should pour sake for you. You might feel like dr lonely drinking all by yourself, no? Fakao-san gave me a cup and poured sake into it. But he's so bad at pouring sake because every time he pours sake, he says it was about to spill. He moved, he moved so quickly that I couldn't react it. Drink it all up at once. A woman's skin if you drink sake is as beautiful as a blooming flower. Because, because her face turns pink. <laughs> What? Do you know, like Kagura sensei things like this? Oh, I added some more. <laughs> Oops! Kagura is a little say I don't feel like that. But it doesn't make you like feel bad when someone says that to you, like, does it? It does make me feel bad. P please don't. Uh, I'm like, sorry. But I want to see pink flowers blooming on your skin. How beautiful it would be! Is that why you put, is that why you put roach on her? In his route? He's obsessed with makeup. It's like thinking about it. it makes me feel crazy. He put his hand over my hand that was holding my cup. A shudder came across my hand. But Takao-san guided my hand to calm my down. To calm me down, he guided my cup to my mouth. <laughs> Sake floating floating to my mouth. Blah, blah, blah. The hot sake moistened my throat and made my heart beat, made my heart beat increase in speed. Then Takao-san slowly moved his face in close to mine. You have such like appetizing lips. I couldn't say anything. How should I react at a time like this? Is this how all women fell into the arms of a man? Takao-san's clear eyes caught me. And just then, sorry to keep you waiting. The sliding door was opened quickly. Kagura-san and Kagura-san were sitting down, bowing, bowing, bowing. I rushed to spring back from Takasa, but it was clear to see what was about to happen between us. Why is Takasa-san here? <laughs> you guys like came early. Kagura-san and Kagura-san looked dazed. This. And Takao-san looked triumphant. Why? We didn't do anything. All you've been doing is like annoying me. The inside of my head was mixed up with all kinds of thoughts. Was that it? Seriously? That was that was that was everything? Well, that was a short chapter. Up three percent. Uh huh. Hey, they like me exactly as they like me the same. <laughs> mm -hmm.